Hey guys, what's going on? King Power 44 here. We've got a brand new Overwatch PTR patch. These are patch notes for March 24th, 2018. That is today. Um, I haven't done this in a while. There's been a couple of PTR patches and I kind of just skipped over them because I haven't had time. But this is a huge PTR patch. We've got changes to a couple of heroes. We've got changes to maps, all sorts of stuff, visual changes and whatnot. So we're going to go over it together. It's my first time really reading through the notes. So we're just going to comb through it and then I'll give my opinion on uh, a couple of the points. But without further ado, let's get started. This is on the official Blizzard forum, by the way. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So for the first one, we have a map update, which is Blizzard World. They're going to move the first payload checkpoint back 10 meters. Uh, they say they're moving the checkpoint back for two reasons. The original location swung the map's balance too far in one direction, favoring the defenders. Also, once the payload reached the checkpoint, defenders returning from spawn could get pinned in this area, usually resulting in their death, which I think is super, super, super important. I had this problem uh, a couple of days ago on the stream where we were playing on Blizzard World, and it seemed like the defender spawn was way too close to the checkpoint. So one, we either got pinned, like it said, and, and we'd all just die and they get a free uh, push starting onto the third point. This is talking about the second point. So the first point when you're pushing the payload, remember Blizzard World is a hybrid map. But another thing that could happen is as you were approaching as the attackers, it was really, really easy for the defenders to, to respawn quickly and stop you from taking uh, that second point. So I like this. I think this definitely needed to happen. Um, next, we have general updates, which is huge. Players can choose to avoid as teammate with a drop down menu in the career profile. I'm so happy with this. Uh, as a solo queue player, I use prefer this player a lot. And now I have... Uh, the opposite of that, avoid as teammates, so I can really pick and choose um, players I play with, who, who I want to play with again, and who I don't want to play with again. This is really, really good, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited about that. Next, the report menus getting a little bit, uh, getting changed a little bit. You've got the poor teamwork drop-down menu option has been removed, and the griefing drop-down menu option has been renamed to gameplay sabotage. So they just did that because a lot of people were confused. Um, with the naming and whatnot, what to report people for. This is the important part here. We've got right here, we've got heroes. Whoops, I highlighted the whole thing. Right there, heroes. First thing, Sombra's enemies hacked end of round card now also displays your offensive assist. Great. Bridget's, uh, Brigitte, that's her name. Brigitte's golden weapon variant will now also give her a golden shield. Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. I have Brigitte's golden weapon. I am a support main and she's super fun. So I was like, I got the extra points. Might as well get the weapon. And you don't have a golden shield. And I was like, why not? Now we have it. And then they changed Mercy's Valkyrie voice line. I think they reverted it to the, to the way it was. UI simplified uh, hero select tips for roles. So that's interesting. Uh, I'll see what that's about in the game. But next up, we have D.Va. Her micro missiles are, the damage is being reduced from 6 to 4. And I agree, again, agree with this 100%. She did a ton of burst damage. She could literally just dive onto McCree, dive onto Zenyatta, dive onto a Tracer that didn't have her recall. And you could just, you could absolutely devastate them. So this is good. I think this is a good change. D.Va is still going to be pretty strong. She's just not going to be OP. Next up is a, a change I'm not really okay with. Uh, May's endothermic blaster now pierces through enemies. So that's her left click and her right click, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's her left click and her right click. Now, uh, the way you used to sort of beat Maze is if you guys were really close together, she couldn't freeze the target because it, her beam could only freeze one target at a time, right? But now she can freeze everyone. Let me read this. This change helps May combat multiple targets that are clumped up and also make it easier to keep her freezing a specific target if another enemy gets in the way. So how, that was the whole, the whole point was to play around that by standing in front of May's blaster to, to help your teammates. Now you can't even do that. In addition, this change helps her ultimate more consistently be able to freeze more targets, especially if they are near each other. While her shots now pierce enemies, they still do not pierce barriers such as Reinhardt's shield. 
Great. They don't pierce Reinhardt's shield, but May can now line up headshots and just take people out. I'm talking straight damage. I don't really agree with this change. I don't think May needed to be buffed. Um, a lot of people say her, her play rate is really low. She doesn't get picked that often. But if you look at her win percentage as a hero, her win percentage is around 50%. So when she is picked, people are winning games with her. It's just that a lot of people don't really know how to play her. And uh, I guess they thought that she needed a buff. I, I don't think she needs this buff. And this sounds terrifying, to be honest. I'm going to be extremely scared of May. Next up, we have Reaper. This is this is really interesting. I think Blizzard's a little bit scared of the triple tank meta coming back when with uh, maybe Lucio Brigitte as supports or Brigitte and Moira as supports, uh, sort of helping those tanks out a lot. Tanks are pretty strong with uh, with Brigitte as one of their supports. She does a lot for them uh, with extra armor and you know the constant healing if everybody's clumped up doing damage. You know what I'm saying? So they, they seem to have buffed Reaper here. He reloads his Hellfire shotguns after he uses his Death Blossom, which is something I think Zen should be able to do after he transcends. He should have reloaded ammo, but I guess they don't. That's fine. His, his Wraith form is the most important thing, and I, and I like this. I think this should have been done um, way earlier. Not the move speed bonus, but his ability to cancel uh, his Wraith form. So now he can move speed. Uh, his, he can move speed. His move speed bonus is increased from 25 to 50. So he, he's Wraithen. He's flying. He's he's like the wind. Free as ever. He's just going to the point. Going to whatever target he needs to. Or escaping a lot quicker than before. And like I said. He can now cancel the ability pressing shift or primary fire hockey. So you can really use it to get out of a, a quick situation. And get right back into doing damage to your opponents. So like if a Reinhardt's charging or a D.Va is using her ultimate, you can quickly Wraith, you're invulnerable, uh, it's over, you come back, you can get back to doing damage. Uh, that's pretty much it there. Moira, she doesn't, she only has uh, visual changes from what I'm reading. Her biotic graphs, her coalescence and her fade ability, the transparency is just increased the closer you are to the target. Um, it's just, it was an issue with visibility since <clears throat> most of Moira's visual effects fade away the closer they are to the camera. They've also made modifications to Coalescence Grace, greatly increased the ability for foes and allies alike to see it through when facing it. So it's just, it's just to help people out. Next up, oh, dear to my heart, my main, Zenyatta, his Orb of Destruction, that is his right click, his charge shot, the secondary fire rate, uh, the secondary fire rate of fire that's weirdly worded. You see this? Secondary fire rate of fire reduced by 15%. So basically, uh, what they want is for you to still be able to do damage, but they want it to be a little bit harder to land all of those shots. If they're right in front of you, I'm pretty sure this change is not going to make a difference. They're still going to get blown up, right? But if you're trying to snipe Widow, it's going to be a little bit easier for her to get hit by a couple of shots and kind of just move out of the way. So it's not that big of a nerf, but it is a nerf. And um, I think it's okay. As a Zen main, I don't think it's going to change the way I play Zen. I'm still going to use my right clicks, uh, especially if Tracer's like just coming around a corner. I can end her really quickly. You still do all the damage. Not like his damage is lower. His DPS is lower. So how much damage he's doing per second, that's all that's going to be lower there. Um, after that, we just see some use UI updates. So you can now double click on a hero and select it. You don't have to like pick the hero and then go and click on uh, uh, choose hero, I think is what that little sign is down there. You just double click on the hero. That kind of helps a little bit with people who have uh, a little bit slower computers getting into games. They can just double click the hero. They don't have to click and go. Um, they added a leaderboard information to the competitive information screen. This can be accessed by right clicking the menu. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay. And then lockout elimination cards in the arcade are now just referred to as eliminations. Everything else is bug fixes. Um, nothing super important there. A lot of Doomfist fixes, some Arista stuff. So those are the changes. I agree with almost every single one of them besides the May buff. May's only been buffed. I don't remember her getting nerfed ever. And for some reason, Blizzard still thinks that she needs to be uh, a key part to the game. And once again, I have no idea why. 
but uh, it's their decision, and we'll see how it works on the PTR. Maybe it's a maybe it's a good thing. Again, I haven't played with it, so I'll definitely get on the PTR and try to play around with May, Diva, Zenyatta, um, Reaper, all the people who got changed. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the changes. Let me know if you agree with me <laughs> with the May change. A lot of people don't. A lot of people are saying that she did need to be buffed from what I was hearing, but I didn't think so. Um, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We've got more stuff coming. I know my videos don't come out uh, consistently, but uh, I'm trying to work on that. We do stream on Twitch Monday through Friday from 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to around 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so around three hours, except on Tuesdays, we stream much later. The schedule's all there. It'll be in the description below. Guys, have yourselves a great Saturday, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.